hello everyone, welcome back to our War on the Sea Let's Play series as the Imperial Japanese Navy. Uh, today you join me straight again off the hotter heels of our previous episode. This is the ninth episode of that series now. Thank you very much for keeping with me for so, so long. Um, possibly my longest running uh, series now. <laughs> we haven't actually hit any technical difficulties with this one yet. So <laughs> Uh, hopefully we'll get it through, see it through to the end. <laughs> I'm gonna jinx it now, and it's gonna crash again. But um, so a little bit uh, update from the last one. We are um, going to uh, have a look at um, I think reinforcing the island of Guadalcanal in this episode. Um, because although I did say in previous episodes that I'm not too bothered about keeping it, um, it would of course be far more expensive to uh, lose it and then rebuild it and reinvade it again, wouldn't it? So we're going to try to um, prevent the loss of it. Uh, so we're going to build a small um, convoy of supply ships with some troops and, of course, supplies for them and try and speed down before the battle's over. So I'll see you on the strategic map. Right, so what do we actually want? We've been resupplied with troops and supplies. Um, haven't been resupplied with fuel and engineering unless that was the 80 we got um, a few episodes ago. Let's double check the rules. Um, where does it say we get? So here we go, yeah, uh, per week is 80. Okay, fair enough, so that's it. All right, uh, so we've got to wait another seven days until we get any more engineering and fuel. All right, see, so it's gonna take a ruddy long time to get uh, Guadalcanal to level five, isn't it? But, uh, okay, not a problem. So uh, we're gonna get new C, we're gonna get uh, I think they cost 10, don't they? Three uh, Kamagawa Marus. Where is it? Here we go, yeah. So we're going to get um, three of those, I think. Two, three. I know we can uh, afford four. Hmm. Actually, we'll, we'll see uh, what it... What the fuck? Is it put it there, you fool. Um, sorry, <laughs> getting pissed off at the uh, thing there. Um, let's, um, we shall get those and see how much uh, we actually give them in terms of troops and supplies. I'm going to give two of them troops. Um, where are we? Managed cargo. Where the fuck have you gone? Here we go, right on top of it. Uh, only just woken up today, ladies and gentlemen. Please bear with me. <laughs> so we're going to give uh, two troops and two supplies. Um, so that gives us, okay, uh, 1,640, um, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll easily be able to do that, so we might even, uh, no, let's do that, let's do that, uh, just keep it like that, we've got some points in reserve in case we start losing things, we'll be fine, so that's going to take two whole days to get there. So let's go, shall we? And we are, of course, still trying to evade the enemy aircraft carrier. Uh, we have um, put uh, I-17 down here specifically to hunt for it. I have specifically requested it. So that's what we're going to do down there. Um, we should be able to launch an aircraft off of here uh, to help with that. Uh, we're going to go around, circle round. I get the feeling, um, because I can't remember the vector of the last uh, fighter attack, um, that it's possibly more round here really, but you never know. We are of course going to launch um, another Jake off of the Suzia here, um, just to get uh, a bearing of what's going on south of Guadalcanal, as we always do. We ha are of course looking out for supply convoys as well from the enemy, so let's keep an eye out for that. There we go, we've been spotted by something there. So, likely coming from there, I am going to try and launch some zeros off of here and put them on the Takao Task Force, just in case. Uh, let's have a go. Yep, keep going, mate. My god, we're getting spotted by everything here. <coughs> so, I think what we're going to do is actually beeline this one from the Suzia over here and see if we can follow their vectors. Ah, no, here we go. Okay, so it's just the one destroyer, not a problem. We are going to have to uh, engage though. So let's do that uh, because we can't ignore it and it's quite likely it's coming from our flank. That's brilliant stuff. Um, yeah, we can certainly destroy it in this battle um, so long as it doesn't decide to retreat instantly uh, and try and run away. 
But that would be a shameful display. Okay, so uh, where are we? Quarter to six in the evening. Uh, our flights are actually going to land soon, unless we sort this out and get ahead of that. Let's go full speed to go around. Uh, Akazuki, you do not have your radar on, like I thought I told you, and neither does uh, Yuguma. So it's only the Makaguma that has it on. We've uh, come into contact with the Kingfisher over here. Oh, Cersei, uh, be firing at that once it's in range. It should be in range now, actually. Uh, what is the. Um yeah, you can see people firing off. It's probably just a... Uh, there we go. So the hunt is going to be for uh, the destroyer. I wonder if we can use our binoculars to spot anything on our flank. Sometimes, uh, when it tells you you've encountered something, they're so, so far away, it's just not worth it. Like I found in a previous episode, where we were just tailing a supply convoy forever and had to just re-engage it later on. But we can't wholly ignore this destroyer because it might be carrying uh, just a couple hundred uh, troops for their attack. I thought I saw something pop off there. That might have just been the flash of our own muzzles. Let's see if anything lands over here. Uh, this Kingfisher is going to mug us off by not being shot down, just refusing, even though it's passing right overhead. Uh, possibly could have launched uh, my own Jake actually off the Sizzier before we started. Well, unfortunately, after a few minutes of um, wasting around and trying to spot the destroyer, uh, it's actually no sign of us in that battle, so it's possibly just for that uh, aircraft, which we did not manage to shoot down. So we're going to station our t uh, or keep our uh, task force uh, here, see what happens, and we are ev going ever onward to resupply I-15, get it back in the field, and of course waiting for this lot to come down as well. So it's going to be rather passive play for now. Uh, and we'll see what happens soon. He's going into night time now where we have no air cover. But only a few hours later, um, actually only one hour later, just at the end of our air cover um, operation time, we have a surprise encounter with this task force again. Uh, no ship spotted on the map, so this suggests we might actually be encountering a um, submarine. So we're going to turn on sonars with our destroyers. Um, this is actually a fairly bad decision from them because we have three destroyers uh, fully capable of anti-submarine warfare. So we're going to keep an eye out um, like this very quickly and on our sterns if we can because if it is a submarine engagement... Mm. Oh no, zero is oh, it's just zero leaving the area. Okay, that's fair enough. No enemy contact as of yet. If it is a uh, submarine encounter, like I was saying, um, it is very possible that um, it will just be off of our bows. But so I would have spotted something by now, because it generally um, a submarine engagement goes just <laughs> one way. Um, it will either spawn to your ports, roughly here, or to your starboard, roughly here, and instantly fire off a spread of torpedoes. So we're going to look to our flank and see if that's the case now. Uh, because there's no variety of submarine anti-submarine combat in this game. There we go. We can see uh, something over here. It's just there. So we're actually manoeuvring there, almost to uh, escape it. So we get to get a break um, here with the Akazuki, and um, we're going to keep our speed the same actually and keep on that course. But it's the Suzia I am of course worried about. So I think what we're going to do is decrease, get that to break of course, decrease speed and actually get them to f face the torpedoes so we've got some narrow um, angle there. We're going to break again with the Yugumo, uh, keep its speed up and actually keep us on that course for the minute and we're going to say the same I think for Makaguma because this is going to be the destroyer I want to engage with. So we're going to increase our speed a little bit and get off like that. It's going to take a lot of manual control and concentration from me. <laughs> so bear with me. This might be a tad slow. But uh, this is our first engagement, actually, with the enemy um, submarine, isn't it, in the series? So I'm just going to watch them. Actually, I might... How's that looking with the Suzia there? Can't quite see the torpedoes there. Okay. I think I'm actually going to get Suzia to um, just reverse. See what happens with that. Um, 
And if we do get hit, I'm going to pray that um, we get that famous uh, American dud chance. Actually, we're going to go in a straight line here and just see if we can skirt around at max speed from these torpedoes. That's not looking too bad, is it? Um, yeah, we're going to have to look, for, look out for Yugamo behind us. But this uh, destroyer is safe. So we're going to decrease our speed here to 22 knots to catch up with the um, submarine. And what that will do is reduce the sound or noise level of our engines, making our sonar that much more effective. And we're going to watch um, this Yugamo here because this is the one that's currently under threat. So I'm going to take full control of this. Uh, can't quite see the uh, stream so well in that light. But I think we're looking good there. Uh, hard midships, hard rudder to midships, a hard turn to port here please and slow down because you're going to hit that one on this line, if not, oh that's going to be close, that's going to be very close. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> that went right under us, oh my god, brilliant stuff, I will take that any day. Alright, so let's go back to Makaguma and see what's happening. Uh, can we spot? This is a bit of a cheat actually. You can go into uh, underwater view and just see if there's something about. Uh, we're going to get Akazuki again to come round, I think. We can't see anything here. So what we're going to do is get Akazuki to come round at a decent speed and do that. And we're going to take control of the Makagumo and see what happens. Suzy is absolutely fine. Brilliant. That was the priority, I think. We can replace destroyers fairly easily. Although having said that, I don't think there's lots of Akazuki in the Yugimo class destroyers. Let's have a look at that, just to double check. <coughs> um, where are we? Yugimo, yes, yeah, so there's 19 Yugimos, that's not a problem. And that's Akatsuki, there's only 4 Akatsukis. Uh, there's 12 Akazuki, so not too bad on this, as long as you don't lose them on mass. <laughs> okay, so. No sign of anything just yet. What is the power of our sonar? Should be okay. We should reach them within two kilometers if we do spot anything. But so I imagine they've dived quite deep now and possibly going on silent. This is rather unlucky. Usually we can spot destroyers, I mean, not the submarines, uh, fairly quickly when we engage them. So what I might do is tell Yukimo's engine to stop. Reduce the noise out there and maybe get Akazuki to stop as well. Or is their sonar better? No, it's not better, so we're going to keep it like that. Uh, we might tell Makagumo to stop as well. We shall see. No sign of anything out here. Rather strange. Coming off of the uh, angle that the torpedoes came from. I'll get back to you when we uh, do come into contact with this, I think. So, after a few minutes of uh, searching with the Makigumo, we have not. Ah, uh, there we go, we just detected it on the map there. Uh, using the underwater vision here, <laughs> we have actually spotted the enemy submarine to our uh, port beam here. We've already uh, got all, um, started orders to turn around and face it and try and get over it. Uh, it's going to be rather awkward though, so I think we're going to do an even harder turn and slightly more speed. Uh, I think 12 is the um, speed that American subs can go at that sort of depth. So 13 more words, just, just slowly take over. We don't want to go too fast because depth charges are launched off the stern of the ship rather than uh, either beam or uh, bows. So we're going to go right over it. And now we're going to hard turn over here as well and reduce our speed a little. This is rather a slow game, uh, hunting submarines. You have to be just right. I'm going to make it a target there. Uh, there's no point trying to identify submarines, I find, because uh, they all look the same. They genuinely all look the same. 
and the differences come down to test depth. The one thing about uh, American destroyers that's different from Japanese is that they do have rear firing torpedo tubes as well. So if this were a player, we'd have to uh, be on the lookout for that. But the AI likes to uh, guess off a spread of torpedoes and then uh, retreat. Which we've been doing, of course, but uh, they just uh, don't seem to guess it. It's all they do. Right. So it's just a case of trying to guess on his uh, beam there and be almost exactly as they face as well. I'm going to speed up just a tad here. I think. No, we're nearly there. Actually, if we speed up, we'll overshoot it. Nearly, nearly there. So now we're in that sort of position, we are just a little bit off of them, so I think we're going to increase our speed just a bit. Uh, we're nearly there, we get just a little bit better. We're going to set up a two spread of um, depth charges there, and I think that'll be about okay for now. We'll just fire some off, see what happens there. Should we get some hits in. Okay, if we go into the report, we can see it's taken moderate damage. We can see it's mostly on the stern there. It can just be a waiting game with this, like I say. So we're going to get back into a decent position, I think, and try it again. We're going to increase our speed. Not too much, I think. Get a decent turn round. Of course, what we can do is overtake it and reverse over it. Just about trying to be a little bit accurate. It's probably the most control you have over your um, any sort of fire in this game. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and unfortunately, it is rather difficult still. So we've overshot that completely there. What we're going to do is actually, I think we're going to reverse. And uh, reverse this way. Okay, I think there we've done a fair amount of damage. What we're going to do is we're going to increase our speed a little and turn again to starboard. We do have how many depth charges we still have available? 24, not a problem. Again, is this a wasting game? I'm going to speed up here and see what happens. There we go. Just as I say that, he's sunk. <laughs> Overcome with flooding. See you later, my dude. <laughs> uh, we're going to come straight out of that, because there is only ever one submarine to worry about. And that is one off of the game field. Brilliant stuff. Let's keep going overnight, shall we? See what happens. So, another mystery uh, engagement here. What do you reckon it will be? <laughs> Are you ready for this? <laughs> oh, it's going to be exactly the same, isn't it? All right, so it's another uh, just submarine engagement. Somehow they're already parked off and right off the coast of Guadalcanal there. <laughs> so what's going to happen is um, I'm going to play through this myself. I don't want to bore you with uh, another submarine engagement again because it will be exactly the same as last time there. So we're going to hunt it with the Akizuki, and I'll be back with you in just a minute. <laughs> so, uh, this is in real time. That took me across around 20 minutes just to sink that one submarine. That took far, far too long. So I didn't think I'd bore you with it. We're going to carry straight on. Um, it's just gone midnight in the game. 
Uh, hopefully we won't catch another pesky submarine tonight. I want to get in a proper engagement for you, uh, for you guys tonight. We're going to resupply um, I-15 over here because that is something we can do now. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're going to get this one to patrol out uh, over here, I think. Uh, while we can, uh, let's keep going. Ooh, all right, all right. So we've spotted actually a somewhat major supply convoy coming in here. Six merchant ships with two destroyers, two heavy cr heavy uh, cruisers escorting them. Going to ignore that now, so we don't lose contact with them. Uh, we are going to circle around with them uh, with our Jake over here, and of course we're going to do the old, uh, the older, the older, the older, the old Kate strike. I think. Um, yeah, let's do that, shall we? Ha 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 ha. Come on, my dudes. You will never make it to Guadalcanal before ours, ours do. We're still holding out just a little bit there. It makes you wonder what exactly they got over there. We've overshot them a little bit. <laughs> so we'll come out around and get back in uh, so that we're not spawning right on top of them. Uh, that should do it. So we go to tactical with our Kates here. And what have we got today then? Right, uh, we're off their port beams. So actually a decent way out, which is brilliant stuff. How far in are they? Okay, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? So that is a Northampton again. And another Northampton there. Excellent stuff. We are, of course, going to go for their supply ships. So we're going to identify those very quickly. Let's speed run this, eh? Um, instantly fails. <laughs> Where the bloody hell are we? Um... Type C, yes. All right. And a one, and a two. Nope, I'm not pressing the button there. <laughs> Getting too excited. This is the most action we've had all week. <laughs> oh, too many submarines. I like seeing the uh, surface fleets now and then. What sort of destroyers we got, actually? Um, that looks like something. It looks like... Could it be a Gridley? Yeah, that's another Gridley. And uh, that is possibly Benson. Yes, yeah, Benson, excellent stuff. All right, so um, that's actually a fairly uh, modern destroyer, actually, from that. Um, it's only like one tier down from Fletcher sort of thing, really, or a Gleaves, maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Right, so uh, what we're going to do is we are going to go for this line um, here from 6 to 10. So we're going to get our Kates over here. I think we're going to try the old... Um, uh, I think we're going to try one flight, this one here, uh, with the classic um, line of breast formation. Um, we're going to get them to go... Do the usual stuff, climb down, climb down, climb down. Target number six, please. Get them down to 40. Yep, excellent stuff. Uh, this one, I think, though, is going to go in the line ahead formation. Do that, form up, go down to 40, please. And target, I think, number eight. Get them on there. Uh, that's just the wrong one. And uh, we're going to do the same with this formation as well, I think. Get them line ahead to form up. Brilliant. Get them down to 4C, please. And yep, yeah, down, 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 down. And target number 10, if you please. So the plan um, there. <clears throat> with doing uh, just the one flight in uh, line abreast, couldn't remember the word then, is um, hopefully if we do miss with this, it will clip uh, perhaps a ship in the next line or column that they have in their formation. So I'll see you in a second. Alright, so here we are. We've got our first drop off. Uh, we're going to get this one here. This actually doesn't look too good, but it might hit the one at the back there. 
go look at this one before it drops actually and tell them to uh, have they dropped no I'm gonna tell them to cease actually and maybe even get them to go for the one in the back here so we can get a better angle on that uh, what I'm going to do with that is tell them to go here and see what happens, I think, because I do want to hiss it properly. Being thrown off by the change in speeds there uh, with the enemy ships, uh, we're going to attack now, I think. Is that going to tell them to... Oh, that's ruined it for us. Oh, that's unfortunate. Who's been hit? All right, this one's been hit. Brilliant stuff. Okay, we may have just told them... Uh, Something bad there. Why are they not dropping anything? Should have just dropped when we could, shouldn't we? This one's completely missed because... Uh, oh, no. Oh, I thought it was completely miss. All right. Maybe we'll catch this one at the back. And the torpedoes over here that missed the first uh, ship might actually clip this one in the back here. I would love it if it got hit by two. If it did at all. There we go. <laughs> Uh, so that's a shame that uh, we couldn't really get this one. And we did lose a lot of cates for what that was actually. So not our best drop at all. But I thought I'd try something different there. Uh, just to change our tactics up a bit and just to experiment, you know. Not a problem at all. Uh, especially since we now have the Shortland Islands to rearm at. So our Ryuzo is not going to have to go too far with that. <laughs> oh dearie me. Well I'll see you back on the strategic map and let you know what happens. Ah, well, unfortunately, we didn't actually manage to sink anything there, so we are going to launch some Kates again from the Ryuzo. Going to give us a little bit of time first, um, just so we can uh, make sure we do manage to re-engage them. Uh, it is now, of course, just about ready to uh, launch again. We are only going to have 10 uh, available, not a problem. I think this time we're actually going to go for a couple of the heavy cruisers, um, because it's not like we're going to sink that whole convoy, is it, before they get to Guadalcanal, uh, assuming that's where they're going to go for. So I want to make sure we're able to get a nice handy surface engagement in our favour if, uh, that, if it, that is the case. I'm going to launch some zeros over to Takao Task Force just to cover them just in case something happens. Ever fearful of that uh, carrier out there. Uh, we're just double checking our patrols over here. They're going to have to return to base. Not a problem. Not a problem. Okay, this one's able to launch again. Let's go. Give you the usual orders, please. Go out here, actually, this time, having said that. Uh, do There we go. Let's get going. There we go. In contact, straight away. Tactical map, please. Show us what we got. Where are they? Where the bloody hell are they? <laughs> here we go. All right, so um, we're just off of their bow. Okay. What we're going to do is, of course, uh, go down again to 40 meters. You know the magic number, say it with me, everyone. <laughs> Where are we going? 40 meters. All right, so we're going to go for the Northampton, which is number four, I believe. Uh, we're going to identify it just to make sure we get a decent drop. Um, if that does actually help with the drops, it would also be nice to see what we have left to uh, sink. So we got rid of the, this is the Portland classes, uh, Northampton, there you are. So we have sunk one, the Augusta, and the Houston is unavailable. So hopefully we get something here. Um, we will launch two on the Northampton, I think, and cross drop over to number three. Um, let's do that, shall we? Yeah, let's do that, let's do that, let's do that. So you, my lovelies, can do this, uh, go with the first group of Kates. What sort of uh, angle are we coming in with these? Okay, we are only going to have um, two Kates attacking the uh, other Northampton, so that's not a problem. That's just uh, going to mean if we do, hopefully we hit with both torpedoes is uh, what I'm after with that. Uh, we're going to get them to go down to 40. We're going to increase their speed, actually, so we we'll time this hopefully just right. And we're going to get them to attack uh, number three. So, come on. There's another Northampton there. Brilliant. Uh, let's get going. Okay, nearly, nearly in range now. I'm just going to double check. We are in their AA range with this group here. So I think what we're going to do is tell them to attack now, because that looks like a decent spot, doesn't it? 
just watch that very quickly. Uh, yeah, that's not so bad, is it? Not yet. Okay. Should I think we're going to... Hmm. Should we tell them to cease and try again, um, go for a line head form up. Go over this way, just a little bit, please. See what happens there, because I'm not liking it. I do want to hit with both torpedoes there. Uh, we haven't quite told this lot to attack just yet. I think we're going to do that um, now. And with this group, we're going to do the same as well. I think we're looking good there. And yeah, we're looking okay with this, so we're going to tell them to attack. Excellent stuff. To reduce their speed just a little bit. Alright, so I'm liking this. As long as we don't lose a cape before we drop, and we haven't, should be okay there. Alright, guess out. <laughs> I say this all the time, don't we? Just guess out. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is not looking too bad at all, because if we miss, we might set, we're quite likely to get some uh, supply ships with this. Let's have a look, shall we? So we heard a dud go off on one of them. Which one was that? Um, number four. So it's this one here. Um, unfortunately, this one did not get hit by any, which is rather a shame. This one could likely be going down, though. Got hit by one, two, three, four torpedoes. Should be enough there. And look at this lovely stuff here. <laughs> this is one we hit in the previous engagement as well. So that should be going down. That is just the one hit on, two hits on there, excellent stuff, hopefully that will go down. Did lose a hell of a lot of capes, so we're going to have to uh, rearm the Ryuzo again. How many times have we had to do that in this playthrough? There we go, which one's that? Number five is sinking, that's the supply ship. We might just clip this one as well, get some damage on them. <laughs> so we've made up for the, uh, the um, not hitting the Northampton here. Uh, how's this one doing? That is a massive list on there. There's some decent fires on the stern. Um, what's we doing with the reports? Uh, it's critical flooding, so might just sink that. I'd like to see critical uh, damage to it, though. Let's give that some time, eh? <laughs> that is a beautiful sight. Oh, it's something about uh, watching ships sink. So satisfying. Oh, maybe... Um, Maybe once we've done this playthrough, uh, we could either do an American campaign or go to a Battle Station Pacific uh, Let's Play, if, pe if that's what people want to see. Um, we do still have that game on Steam. Just, oh, we might even try and get uh, the overhaul mod for it as well, which would be completely new content. That's uh, a discussion for another day. Let's watch a ship sink here. <laughs> so we did actually manage to um, to sink that Northampton in the end. Right at the end when I issued the leave order, um, it managed to actually go down, which is brilliant stuff, because uh, I don't think they would have scuttled that. So that reduces that task force to um, two destroyers, a single Northampton, and a couple battered um, supply ships. Excuse me, but that is for another day, I think. Um, so thank you very very much for watching this is going to be the end of the episode here um, I would love to hear your comments in the comments section uh, your feedback is always very much appreciated and I will ask you um, if you are enjoying the content and want to see some more please do subscribe it really does uh, does give me the motivation actually so with that being said I'll see you in the next episode I hope all your nights and days are auspicious goodbye